Hey, I want to show off how comics and manga look on Amazon Kindle e-readers. Uh, I'm using the Kindle Oasis, the newest version of it. Uh, so, first I want to start off here with Calvin and Hobbes, as you see there. And for those who do not know, this is a type of comic that you would find basically in like a newspaper. So you have like one comic here, the next one here is a separate comic. Separate comic, but it's all Kevin Hobbs. Uh, so, starting off of that, so you can see this is all pretty small, but it is very clear. You can definitely tell what's going on. You can definitely read it, very easy to read. Uh, of course, it is just black and white, as, as all that these Kindles can do is black and white. But you can definitely tell, like, he's in the snow, uh, you know, he's whipping a snowball at her at the back of her head. Uh, uh, these are hilarious comics. If you guys have not read them, I highly recommend reading them. There's a bunch of them. Hilarious. Uh, so this comic in particular though only has one orientation. And this one's kind of backwards orientation. It's kind of weird. Uh, so we go up here. Hit the double A's there. Uh, you have crop margins, which actually makes it a little bit bigger if you turn that on. Uh, page refresh, virtual, uh, virtual panel, and preview double page spread. Uh, but you see, I can now change orientation. And then here we have about this book when you first get into the book. Uh, animation is also not available for this comic. But why I say it's kind of off is the orientation is actually this way, how it is right now. So if I tap here, it'll go to the next page. Tap here, it'll go to, to the previous page. Or same with my buttons. Or if you swipe. But you. If you try reading this comic like this, you're going to be a little bit off. You know, you're not going to be able to read it too well. Uh, so really, it should be in this orientation. But now if I try to go to the next page, it opens up your menu. Uh, so like I said, the orientation on this comic is a little bit off. Uh, so it just takes a moment to get used to. Uh, you can zoom in, like I just did there on accident. It takes a second or two to actually zoom in. See, it kind of loads. Uh, but you can zoom in there if you want to. And every time you move over, it's going to load for a second. Uh, but again, these are very legible, very easily read. Uh, the black on the white actually looks pretty cool too, I think. I mean, that looks really sweet. The uh, white on... I see black and red. The white on the black looks really, really cool, I think. Again, very easy to switch through pages. I do have the page refresh, which just makes it a little bit quicker. So that's the first comic. Uh, you see, again, very easily read. Looks very nice. The orientation's a bit weird, but otherwise. Next, I'm going to go into Bone here. Uh, so this is another comic, but this is... It's a straight up... Uh, you know, it, it's kind of like a book, though. It's where each, each page is not an individual comic of Bone. This is like a book of Bone, but it's written in like a comic type form. I'm sure there's a better word for it. You guys let me know in the comments below uh, what, what, what you would call this style. But again, easily read. Looks pretty cool. You can tell what they're doing. Uh, again, I love the white on black. It just looks really cool. You see it does flip pages very quick. Again, you can zoom in if you would want to for whatever reason. Maybe there's a map or something you want to look at a bit closer. Okay, I don't know why it's going out so slow. There we go. Again, you tap up top here. Sorry, let you try that without double tapping. Uh, tap up top, hit the double A's there. Uh, again, this only has page refresh, nothing else. And then layout, or excuse me, uh, you can do the about this book. But I can, again, I cannot change orientation, I cannot fit the screen, I cannot do animations. So you're stuck with this one orientation. If I go this way, it's not going to do anything. If I do this way, it will. But it's the same orientation, just upside down. But again, very easily read. It's just a little bit small. Now we're going to manga. 
All right, now we're into mangas. Uh, so this is what the manga is called. It has really good ratings. I don't read mangas myself, but this is what it is called right there. In order to get to that screen, just like on, on uh, books, you just hit up top here, hit that, and then the about. Which will then tell you all about the book. So this one actually has different orientations you can do. So you have this orientation. We'll get to the second orientation in just a second here. There's that just a sample. I got to the end of the sample there. Uh, but you can see this is actually a little bit bigger because of the orientation. Okay, very legible. Again, it looks better in real life than it does through the camera, but it looks good. So this has crop margins again, like Bone did, or like the, uh, excuse me, Cabot Hobbs did. Uh, page refresh, virtual panel, preview, double page spread. This actually has different orientations. And then about this book. So we go to the other orientation. Of course, that'll be like this. Then you actually get two pages on one screen. Uh, so you have one page and one page. Well, actually, one page, one page for Japanese or for the manga. So again, even in this orientation, it still looks very good. You can tell what's all going on. Again, it is just going to be black and white. That's all you're going to get with these e-readers, uh, the Kindle e-readers at least. Uh, again, easy to read though. You can zoom in if you want to see the creepy mouth there. Um, yeah, so it works very well though. So yeah, you guys, let me know what you think. Uh, I really do like my Oasis here. Uh, it's a very nice e-reader for the most part, and I really do enjoy using it. Yeah, you should. Yeah, don't don't usually use read mangas. I've been reading some Kevin and Hobbs. Uh, I usually use this just for books, but it works very well for comic style books as well. Alright guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you have a good one. Goodbye.